Agents and sponsorship will be an important part of your tennis career. Tennis players can earn as much and sometimes even more in sponsorship than they do from prize money. Agents and managers are the people who will help you find and manage your sponsors. At lots of Tennis Europe Junior Tour tournaments, agents were already looking and scouting for players, so we've spoken to some key people to give you some important advice. Hello, my name is Alistair Garland and I am Vice President of Tennis at Octagon. So what does an agent do? The role of an agent is to help navigate your tennis career and to liaise with different sponsors and talk to different tournament directors to help set up your schedule and help generate revenue for you uh, while suggesting good partnerships. Hello everyone, I'm uh, Vincent Stavo, I'm a tennis agent. Uh, I was lucky to be uh, the agent of uh, Justin Enna and also Marin Cilic. I will recommend you for sure not to rush because the problem is that some agents can arrive and say hey but if you don't sign with me no uh, your career is finished no don't please don't believe never ever this kind of uh, discussion but you must understand also that it's good to try to do the good decision as soon as possible so you have to learn him you have to take time to, uh, to go uh, have uh, lunch with him, uh, with your parents, you know, that everybody discover who is the agent, but please, take your time. If you were to consider playing tennis at a university in the United States, when you sign with an agency, you're foregoing that eligibility, so you want to make sure that you have thought that through before you sign with an agent. Hi there, I'm Casey Delacqua and I played on the WTA tour and I used a lot of agents during my time. Here's a checklist in what to look for when looking for a good agent. Agents or managers need to be qualified to do the job. They should have a university degree in a subject like business law, sports business or sports management. All agents should have professional liability insurance in case they do something wrong that could affect the money that you earn. So anyone that you work with, they must understand the rules of the tennis industry, such as the tennis integrity and also the anti-doping rules. It is also very important that you do a criminal background check to make sure that they have not broken the law. And most importantly, it's important to speak to other players to see if they've worked with the agent and to see if they are doing a great job. So just make sure if an agent offers you a contract that you check the details of how much you will pay them. It's all in writing and that you have it all checked before you sign. You can either ask the lawyer to get the contract checked or if you're not sure how to get in contact with a lawyer, ask your national association for some help. I got Asian when I was 15. My agent is just trying to, to help me as much as he can in everything is not in tennis, uh, means contracts, sponsors, means also hotel reservations and travel issues. I'm the uh, founder and uh, managing uh, executive director of uh, Top 5 Management. We are currently working with uh, Alina Svitolina, Daria Kesetkina and many other uh, players. An agent will scout first, track uh, different profiles uh, on different tournaments and uh, will be at the end uh, when he has in mind the right profile uh, and the player he wants to work with, he will uh, he will talk to the family, to the player, and try to convince them to, to, to work with, uh, with him. I'm Andy Murray's manager. Uh, I've worked with him for 10 years. So you should have a lawyer probably before an agent because the lawyer will look through the agent contract with you. Um, and there's lots of sort of clauses to be aware of uh, and be wary of in agents' contracts. And extensions and renewals is one we've come up against a lot where an agent can sign you in and if they negotiate a deal, if you keep that sponsor for life, they are due commission on that sponsor for life as well, regardless of whether they're working with you or not. My opinion that first of all, the agent, uh, especially if you are becoming good, is uh, someone that's gonna be beside you even uh, like, like your coach, the time he spends with you will be as your coach is spending with you, as your family is spending with you. 
So you need to find someone who you trust and who you have good relationship with, who can be your friend at the same time. Hello, my name is Diane Hayes and I'm a member of the WTA board. Sponsorship will play an integral part of your career and it's really important that you associate with the right brands. While your performance on the court will always be important to your sponsors, they rely upon you as global ambassadors and spokespeople for the brand. Sponsorship is when a company wants you to promote something for them. While you're a junior, they may not pay you money, but will give you free equipment. This still counts as sponsorship. The more successful you become in tennis, the more sponsors you will attract. Well, as a sponsor, I believe Adidas uh, is looking for various uh, different features. Of course, um, you have to have results, um, but I think um, there has to be kind of an outlook uh, for a brand, um, meaning that if they sign and if they decide to sign you as a player, um, they want to sign with you for a long time and not just for a year or two. So the overall development and um, your personality uh, plays a very, very, very important role and big part um, in the signing process, of course, as well as your social media. Um, so make sure not to post anything that could hurt you or harm you. We are uh, visiting tournaments, junior tournaments. We try to find kids uh, which have a potential to be a top player. For me, the most important is that the potential of a player. So you can see the way he wins, the way he plays or she plays, the, the technique, how they acting when they are set down, uh, they're fighting until the end. Some uh, of our players are sponsored by our national unit, like Switzerland, Germany, Italy, and they get uh, equipment contracts only. It is sponsorship. The value of such a sponsorship is about eight to 10,000 euros a year. So it means a lot. It's not cash, but it means a lot. The second level is equipment contract plus some bonuses. If the player has more potential, we try to sign a long-term uh, contract uh, with even retainer involved. Mm -hmm.